cosmic transition in 2016. So I just wanted to start off by asking a show of hands. Who here has any interest in astrology, knows a little bit about astrology? Okay. People know their signs more or less. Okay, yeah. Is any okay. Does anybody think this is complete hogwash? It has no relevance to human life at all. Good, just checking. <laughs> um, I really love to remind people that everything on this planet moves in cycles. And the last cycle that we've gone through since 2012 has been a real doozy. And so many new age and you know activists have been really depressed that 2012 didn't just like you know, shift everything like everyone was hoping. And part of the reason is that the transition involved from 2012 through now involved the planets Pluto, which is like the great wrecking ball, and Uranus, which whose job is to anchor the future into the present. That's, that's an intense thing. Anchoring the future into the present with Pluto wrecking ball. But Pluto, Hades, God of the underworld, what did have to happen first was that all the secrets. So we have Snowden and him coming up with information and Assange. All of the Occupy movements start coming up. People are dissatisfied that the base of like how we live and how our culture is structured to come up for review. And at the same time, we have Uranus going, well, let's look at things a little differently. Let's try things a little bit differently. So this last four years has been about exposing everything that's been secret, because there can't be any more secrets. You have a, even on the Cosby, with, the, with all the accusations that come out, all kinds of things that have been hidden had to come out into the open. So now that they're all out there, What's next? And this is what's next. What's next is now there's a new square. So let me just back up and talk a little bit about what is a square. If you were looking uh, at a planet here, Uranus, over here, Pluto, you're the position of the Earth, that's a square. They make a 90 degree angle. And so what it does is it, it pulls. It's like pulling things apart. And at the same time, adding their energy. So Uranus and Pluto were pulling, and then talking about the future, revealing things hidden underneath. So now that everything's all, uh, uh, and all stirred up, what do we do? What do we do? The Occupy movement like started, but, but then what? We need the new structure. And that's what the new cycle is about. The new cycle involves Saturn, which is about structures, physical manifestation in the world. And the square, again, the pulling energies, is helped this time by Jupiter, which is always considered in astrology a benevolent planet. The Saturn is about constricting, and Jupiter is about expanding. And what are they going to be expanding on is Neptune. The discussion in the sky for 2016 is going to be between Saturn and Neptune, with Jupiter helping. Jupiter is also in Indian astrology, Vedic astrology, they call it the guru. It's the helper, the teacher, the one that brings along the evolution of humanity. Neptune is considered the most spiritual of all planets. So we have the most physical 3D world planet Saturn having a discussion with Neptune, which is the most spiritual of all planets. So what is this story about? The difference between the other square, with Pluto as kind of a wrecking ball, and let's bring everything out, and explosions everywhere. All the violence that's taken place over the last few years, and the wars, and now all the refugees, everything is just like all over the map. Now we need to begin to build a new structure, but we need the information, the spiritual information, that Neptune will provide for us. This will provide optimum high 
possibility for us to build a really humane world with Neptune coming in on the discussion. So to prepare, that's why I said the speech is preparing for that. This month of January, that's why I wanted to do this speech like right away. This month of January is important because it helps for us now to step back and review what this last few years since 2012 has really been about. And to help us is the planet Mercury in retrograde. Now, who knew that Mercury was in retrograde? Raise your hand. Okay. <laughs> you know, recently I've been surprised that ordinary calendars, not even astrologers books, have on, you know, your flip calendars, Mercury retrograde. I'm like, man, it's reached that level of, of co you know, common consciousness. That's, that's pretty awesome. Mercury retrograde is usually associated with communication glitches and the like. But this time, the special mission is that Mercury will highlight the area of the sky where the original square took place between Uranus about retrograde. Retrograde means if you're looking at it in the sky, Mercury, it's, it was going this way, right? If you look every night, then suddenly it's going, so like, what happened? It's in retrograde motion. What the retrograde will provide for us is a review of what just took place. So I've just pointed out a few uh, larger context of the world and events. Well, what about the inner world? This whole time, our inner world has been shifting and changing. And maybe we really haven't taken the time to just really check in with what actually has shifted for us. Even if your life does look sort of the same, you might live in the same house, you might live with the same people, but inside, I'm sure there's big shifts and changes. And what this month now, before the whole shebang starts moving, is an opportunity to take inventory. And the energies of the Neptunes are already approaching us. I see it already, I feel it already. As a clairvoyant, whenever Neptune adds its energies, images. So expect images, snippets. You might overhear pieces of conversation. They'll all point to things that maybe you're like, oh, yeah, I remember feeling that. Or, yeah, you know, this agenda that I've been appealing to my whole life or these people or these activities don't make sense anymore. I was already feeling that. But now you have to live and honor the truth. And that, your truth, your inner truth, that's what the 2016 News Square is about about making that inner stuff out in the material world. So that comes with that. Mm -hmm. So more on this at another time because the red light is on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.